Hey Ben, um, just wondering from when you signed um, as a free agent to, to now, did your tenure go with the Lake, with the Lakers go as you expected? Were you um, more utilized, less utilized than you thought you might be? I mean, I came here to, with a, they gave me a great opportunity to be here and be a part of this great organization. Uh, I did exactly what they expected me to do. and. You know, we definitely have high expectation. Uh, obviously, last night was tough, and it's going to be tough for a while. Uh, but, you know, this is a great organization that, you know, bounced back from things like this before. Ben? Ben, did, did your time here go well enough where, where you kind of go into the soft season with the mindset that you'd like to be back? Is, is that sort of the plan? Um, we'll see. You know, that is, it's a business. You know, we see how, you know, things go. But obviously, my time here was amazing. I, I appreciate Rob and Frank giving me the opportunity to uh, be on this great big platform with the Lakers and playing with these group of guys. It was amazing. Ben, you had your moments where you got super hot out there, but as a whole, the team struggled consistently shooting the ball over the last couple months. Uh, how much could you guys inside like the offense? So much is predicated on what LeBron and AD do in terms of drawing attention, right? And then, then finding guys. And was it just tough to find that rhythm when you were missing one or the other of those guys? Oh, I mean, either of those guys. I mean, talented guys, all-star guys, all Famer famous guys. And guys are going to make plays uh, for one another and for us as well. Uh, to make shots, and you know, we had a little, you know, drop where we wasn't making shots. But we the Lakers, you know, we're gonna make shots. You know, eventually, like that's what we do. We got guys that's capable of making shots, obviously, and you know, things didn't go well. But again, we have guys that can make shots, so that wasn't really a big problem. We know we guys that are capable of making shots and going runs and making shots, and AD and Brown will make plays for guys and get guys open and to make shots. Mike Trudeau. Hey, Ben, there aren't too many NBA rosters in a given year that have, you know, 12, 13 guys that the coach can feel like he can call upon for real rotation minutes. I just wondered what that <clears throat> felt like uh, on a team there and how, on the one hand, it's good to have that much talent, but on the other, um, it can be tough to find consistency and cohesion and how you took that in your role and for the team. I stay positive, stay positive, being a teammate, being a great teammate, great locker room guy. Uh, uplifting my teammates as well, good or bad. Um, and I, I, like I said, I, I was given this opportunity and, and I you know, did everything I can in this opportunity and it was amazing. Um, obviously, like we fell short, but again, it was a, it was a great, great opportunity for me. Harrison? Hey, Ben, I, I'm kind of along those same lines. How did you feel like Frank did as just kind of in terms of communicating with you and communicating with all of the other guys? Like w when you were going to be in and out of the rotation, like did you feel like that was pretty clear and, you know, uh, it, like, you know, easy for you to get? Absolutely. From day one, um, day one when they signed me, was the communication was there. Uh, obviously, like I said, with the opportunity to give it um, every day. You know, it's it's the next guy. Whoever, if the guys go down, whoever guy go down, the next guy is ready, and the next guy is uh, is, is, is going to be given the opportunity to go out there and perform on a high level. And, and he made it clear from the jump. Michael Corbo. Hey Ben, uh, kind of a silly thing here, but I noticed it took a pretty short amount of time after you signed for you and LeBron to like have your own handshake. Mm -hmm. I think you guys like dapped up and did your ice in the veins three-point celebration thing. Um, first of all, I've always been curious like how that works, like how soon it took you guys to like sit down and come up with that. And also, do those little things like make you feel more welcome or indicate leadership skills from LeBron, or am I just reading too much of that? I won't say you read too much of it. I think that's just uh, the relationship we had over the years anyway. Uh, but just being a part of this organization, I think that just something shows that Welcome to the brotherhood. Welcome to this team. Welcome to this family. Uh, and he's a guy that, you know, he loves the handshake. He loves the, the interaction with his teammates and players, his brothers. And I'm the same way. So the, the day I got here, you know, and I met them in Miami right away, we, you know, was introducing this as a handshake. Well, he actually came to me. I got a handshake for you. I got it. And 
it, it, that was it. So it was amazing. It's just a great feeling. Like, it does bring you together, having that bond and that brotherness with each other. So it, it, it's amazing. Thanks. We'll go back to person. And speaking of LeBron, you got the Toon Squad shirt on. Um, I guess just how excited are you for the movie? And uh, did you try to ask him for any like late, you know, late filming cameo or anything like that this season once you got here? No, I, I didn't, but I am excited to see. Obviously, we know the first Space Jam was a classic, um, and this is going to be more for like you know kids and, and obviously grown folks as well. But it's going to be a lot, a lot excited because seeing um, actual players again involved into the in in the movie and things like that so i'm i'm excited to see it